Hello everyone, welcome to Admitat Academy. That's me again, Ekaterina Vasina, Content Marketing Manager at the Academy. And today we are going to check what we need to review before joining an affiliate program and how we can evaluate an affiliate program before joining it. Okay, so let's start. If you know which category of programs you want to promote, first thing that you need to do is open the catalog of programs on admitat.com. Okay, here we can see all the affiliate programs on the Admitat system and here you can see the general information on every affiliate program. Let's scroll down a little bit. If you see this purple label exclusive, it means that this company works exclusively with Admitat and it is not presented in any other affiliate network. It just means that you will have less competition. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. And let's check the parameters of this affiliate program. Uh, here you can see the general information. First of all, it's the launch date. It uh, means that uh, the affiliate program was launched and joined an affiliate program on the 7th February in 2017. And to be honest, the longer the program works with the affiliate program, the better it is for you. Why? Well, simply because if the advertiser was dishonest and it didn't pay uh, the rewards to the publishers, the affiliate network would simply disconnect such a company and would never work with it. The next uh, parameter which we can see is the product feed. This uh, parameter and the tool uh, is uh, useful for those who have affiliate stores and uh, who work with uh, price comparison services because such publishers need to upload many products on their websites and product feed is the tool where they can find XML feeds which will be useful and which they will use to upload many products at once. Okay, the next parameter is retargeting. This is a possibility to show users uh, the banners with the products which they have already watched and checked on the advertiser's website. And it's just an additional motivation for users to buy the products. You show them the products which they are already interested in, so they will be more motivated to buy these products. Okay, the next one is Cookie Lifetime. We can see that here it is 30 days. It means that the users have 30 days to perform a target action after clicking on our affiliate link. It's better to show it as an example. For example, let's imagine that I am a YouTube blogger. I have a YouTube channel about traveling with many loyal subscribers. I have uh, uploaded a video about my trip to some city and I have provided an affiliate link to this advertiser recommending my subscribers to check the tickets to the buses, for example, on this website. And some of my uh, viewers, they decide to go on the similar trip and they clicked on the affiliate link which I have provided in the video description. They checked everything on the advertiser's website. Then they decided to take some time to think it over. And then they have exactly 30 days to come back to the advertiser's website and to perform an action to purchase some tickets. And if they uh, come back uh, to the advertiser's website within 30 days, and purchase something, I will get the reward for this purchase. Okay, the next one is average payment time. Here it is 24 days. Here the system shows how long it takes for the advertiser to check that an attractive customer has actually made the purchase and didn't return a product, namely to perform a verification. Verification is the process when advertisers compare the data in the analytics and the statistics provided by Admitad and then based on this information they approve the actions or decline them and then the advertisers pay for the approved actions. And the next one is rate. Rate uh, can be a fixed sum or a percentage of the order amount. Here as you can see that uh, rate can be different and it depends on the category of the purchase. Okay, let's move on. Let's open the program description. 
Now we can see more information. In the top you can see more parameters. The first thing that we should mention is that all these parameters relate only to this affiliate program and they are all average. It means that, for example, if you can see here that uh, the conversion rate is 12%, it doesn't mean that your conversion rate will be 12%. Your conversion rate can be lower or can be higher, it depends on your level and on your experience. And now we can move on. The first thing that you can see is EPC. It is the average payment uh, for 100 clicks. And once again, this parameter is average. And for example, uh, successful and experienced publishers can have high earnings and beginners can have lower. The next one is CR. It stands for the conversion rate and it shows the rate of uh, total performed target actions to the clicks and and transitions to the advertiser's website. For example, if 100 people clicked on your affiliate link and only 30 of them performed an action, the conversion rate will be 30%. And the CR can be high or lower because of many reasons. For example, it can be lower if uh, the advertiser has a website with uh, confusing navigation and this website is completely not user-friendly. Probably the users can just open the website and simply don't understand how to make a purchase. And of course, they won't make a purchase and the conversion rate will be low. One more reason why the conversion rate can be low is because uh, publishers attract traffic from the forbidden sources of traffic. The advertisers don't pay for the performed actions which were attracted via the forbidden traffic sources. Okay, the next one is uh, the CR for 48 hours and here's 9%, which is actually nice. The next one is approval rate. It shows uh, how many orders made via affiliate links are approved on average. And this parameter can be lower or high because of many reasons. For example, if users uh, order many dresses or many products to try them on and later they buy just two or one of them, of course the approval rate will be lower. Or oh, one reason more why uh, the approval rate can be lower is uh, because uh, publishers provide misleading information in the advertising materials. For instance, if uh, publishers promise huge discounts in the advertising materials and then then uh, the user clicks on this uh, material and see that uh, there is no discount. Of course, uh, such a user won't make a target action and won't make a purchase. The next one is average hold time. It is the time which an advertiser needs to check the quality and the quantity of the performed actions and then to approve or to decline these actions. The next time is uh, the time of the last actions. And as we can see, today is the 2nd of July. And so the last action was performed today. And the next one is cookie lifetime, but we have already explained it. And the last time is uh, the average payment time. It shows how much time approximately the advertiser needs to pay their words to the publishers. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. Here we can see the program description and the more information the advertiser provides in the program description, the better it is for you because you can use this information in your promotion. And this advertiser, as you can see, has made a webinar and uh, has shared all the insights on how to work with this offer and how to promote the services and the products of this advertiser and you can use uh, the information for the webinar in your promotion. Okay, and the last thing that we can check here is the analytics. Here you can see how different parameters change through the time. For example, uh, you can uh, check the average click to conversion time. Uh, here it can be, for example, on uh, 30th January it was two days and on the 2nd of May it was one day. Here you just can check how it changes. 
All right, we have checked which information we can get from the product description and how we can evaluate an affiliate program before joining it. But keep in mind that it is always easier to promote products and brands which you use by yourself, simply because you already know the advantages of these products and of this brand, and you can use it in your promotion. And that's it for now. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. If you want to leave a comment then thank us thank you just do it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like our videos we will create many more videos thank you we wish you a productive day bye bye